Hey guys, Harrison Warner, I'm back at it once again with a brand new video for you and welcome to episode 4 of our F1 2013 career mode as, as the uh, F1 World Tour continues on to Bahrain. Uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, again, qualifying didn't go particularly well. We're in 12th, where we, 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 we Salbers locked out the 6th row in 11th and 12th. We tried, we just couldn't get in, basically. Um, Felipe Massa hit us with a astonishing last lap like it was within nine tenths of, of the fastest in the field and Mass is not the fastest qualifier out there but he stole it from us right at the death which is kind of irritating um, but as an upside I get to choose my strategy which is n not a bad thing either so here's the setup just a quick run through Again, thanks to Tiamat Marduk for the uh, setup for this one. He is the man when it comes to this kind of thing. So, on top of that, because I can change my strategy around, I'm going to start on the prime tyres. And I'm going to see if I can make it to lap 8, or probably even 9 maybe, on the primes. And uh, going to go to the options. So because hopefully... The strategy is this. Get a good start, because we know we're fast off the line. Keep the guys behind us, and then have a faster second stint. That's the plan. Will it work? I'm not so sure. Because it seems to be that car development has a stronger effect this season. Like, all of a sudden, people cut, like cars are already getting updates, and Red Bulls are like they're back to being at the front of the field again. Mercedes look really, really quick. Ferrari look faster, and you know, Lotus are now clearly better than us again, even though we were, we were faster earlier on in the season. Hulkenberg was in the points. Now, not anymore. Um, so, I'm going to try and mix up a little bit and, and see if it works in my favour. What have I got to lose at this point? Huh? Anyway, lights out, and away we go. In Bahrain, one of my favourite tracks. And that's not a good start. Could go tight on the inside here. Oh! That's going to be a penalty, isn't it? Yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> I may have upended Mark Webber. There's something similar to Korea right there. Was, was, uh, the only thing missing was that Webber's car didn't turn into an Australian barbecue. If that's a plus. What is one actually got hit by behind? Whoa! Someone's tagging me now. It's not good. Whoa! What the hell's going on there? Oh my god. You see that? We, we, we were five wide into that corner. That was That's just flat out bizarre. This was another one of those something's got to give moments, isn't it? Oh god. So I'm actually 14th. I've actually gone backwards. Or have I? The rest of Danny inside. We need clean overtake, so we'll face a penalty. Oh, Danny inside on Massa. Yes. And Raikkonen. Grosjean pushes us out wide. Coming back in. we got Grosjean, so we're up to 8th. That'll do. Oh, oh, not John Perez. He's okay. Well, that's that's ideal. That's perfect for us. The only downside, really, in my plan, one, mistakes like that, which don't help. And two, the options are not that much faster than the primes around here. Which is kind of good early on, but later on, like that that's gonna work against me. <laughs> Look, I need I need to have a clear advantage, and the Salva car right now is not wonderful. And that was a horrible I went horribly wide on that one. Well, I'm getting a nice draft off the rest of this car here, which is nice. Gonna have him on the inside here on the break in. 
I was warned about a collision. Okay. I like that the fact that, it's, that, that, that they actually warn you now rather than, it's, rather than it being a straight up penalty. That's a nice feature as it goes. Hopefully Massa can keep the rest of the busy back there. The shame because the car felt really nice going round um, on the prime tyre. That's why I decided to start on this tyre because I felt more comfortable than the options. Thing is, I was I was getting ready, sucking myself up for this race. Then I had to pick my brother up from school, and then uh, that kind of kind of kind of spoiled my flow. Kind of a shame, really, but hey, what can you do? Looking at the radar, we predict a dry race. Oh, dry race, because you know, you know, because it never rains in Bahrain ever. I tell you what, though. I'm really looking forward to this track being the night race next year. I think that's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to see how they pulled that off. Yeah, this, this place under floodlights is going to look brilliant. Once again, I went wide around that corner. Luckily, Salba's top end speed is actually quite good. But Felipe Massa's coming now and trying to find a way around as well. This is where my plan now gets put to the test. Because now they're going to have DRS. But Raikkonen's now up to 10th. That's not good. For some reason, during race trim, this car's understeering quite a bit. Which I didn't get last time. The good news is there seems to be a bit of a traffic jam further up. If I can stay in touch with this pack up here, that would be really good news. And it looks like Raikkonen is not gaining too much time on me. Something I noticed during Sector 2 is that besides maybe that corner there, I'm definitely one of the fastest guys through Sector 2 for some reason. Again, I'm not one of these technical experts of this game. I'm just a, I'm just a gamer with a personality, I suppose. But yeah, we gained half a second on Grosjean. There's a, there's a train at the front of the field. That was much better around that corner. The guys have looked at the figures. We think that Raikkonen will be stopping in three laps time. Raikkonen stopping in Whoa, three Raikkonen forget about a move. Not close enough. What is going on up there? Has one driver got a problem? Because they're not braking me. And I'm on primes and in a much slower car. Bit of oversteer there, which isn't wonderful, but... And the inside in Grosjean into the hairpin. Yes, making it stick. We're up to we're up to eight, and I'm going to get DRS on button here. Has Button got DRS too? No, he hasn't. You're on the slower tyre, but you're maintaining the gap for the car ahead, so we're very happy. This is good. Had to ease off on that one. Didn't quite have the top end speed. Oh, we're getting close to button here. Okay, you're in his dirty air. You've lost oh, the into the... Grip. Oh, yeah. That's a move. That's a pass into the corner there. That's nice. And we get DRS, which is very nice indeed, so no chance of a counter-attack. Oh, debris. 
Seems like there's, there's been some kind of accident further up. And now Grosjean's up to eight. He's passed Button, so Button must have some kind of problem. And now I'm gaining on Hamilton. What is going on here? Hamilton going really slow. Into the hairpin. There we go. Oh, he's lost his front wing. There you go. Yes, it looks like there's been some crashes further back. And now I'm up to sixth. Not bad, as soon as I started 12th and I'm on the prime tyre. This is working beautifully. It looks like it's now Raikkonen leading the brigade. Further back. Oh, bit wide again. Kind of got away with it though. I don't think Rakan has got DRS this lap. He probably will next lap though. I think the guys on the options, they're going to start to fade pretty soon. The problem is I'm close to fading too. The problem with these setups that you know that I, that I run is that they are very aggressive on tires. The downside is if I was on regular setups, this this car would be a second and a half, two seconds a lap slower. So I kind of got to do this to kind of stay competitive, I suppose. If you can run on, if you can run well on bad tires, you won't notice the difference anyway. So I guess it's kind of worth it from that sense. We're now kind of in the window now for options. Raikkonen is definitely getting closer. Wheelspin coming out of that last corner. It's not going to help, but we're okay here. Raikkonen is coming in. Well, soon as some guys are coming in now. I might have to use some of my fuel later on. I've got two laps of fuel left, but I'm now up to fourth. It's now Vettel that's down the road. Two point eight seconds away. But the car feels great today, right now, man. Relatively hassle-free. I just said Bahrain's one of my favourite tracks on the calendar as well, so it feels this just, just feels nice right now. Is, is Grosjean slowing down back there? I think Grosjean's got a problem. How bizarre! What's the gap between me and Vettel? Oh, about 3.1. So he's gained about three tenths this lap. Watch out for the car behind. He's only two seconds down on you. He might try and overtake if you make a mistake. Grosjean's now 2.2 .2 back. I'm going to try and go the lap nine, but I don't know if that's going to work out all right in the end. Vettel's going to keep going. But that's Weber and Alonso in the pit, so I'm now up to P2. Vettel now has race lead. Sorry about that corner cut there, viewers.
Tires are getting close. I think I can go nine. Never been it like P2, huh? The tyres on the car behind are much newer than ours. We need to maintain our gap if possible. It's nice being up here for a change, isn't it? Because <laughs> uh, it what happened in China. It's uh, it's quite nice to be up here again, quite comfortably. Yeah, I'm gonna go nine. Tyres should be good for one more. I say this because because Bahrain's got a lot of high-speed corners, the downforce and obviously the aerodynamic grip you get doesn't make the tyre wear quite as bad as an effect, you know. That was a personal best for me, so yeah, that was going to pull away, obviously. Wait, is, has Vettel already stopped? Hmm, I don't know. Because he can't be going nine laps on the option, surely. I'll be stunned if he is. Oh yeah, now I'm definitely struggling on these. Oh, getting up betting marbles, that's not going to help. We think the car behind is running on full revs. He's trying to close the gap. Weber's on fuel mix free as well, which doesn't help. Whoa. Where am I going to fall out here? I wonder. Four second gap to the car behind. Four seconds. Here we go, folks. Where am I going to filter out here? If it's anywhere in the points, I'll take it. Let's see if this plan's worked. And even so, we'll only really see when we cross the line because I'm going to be much faster than everybody else when I come back out. Well, not everybody else, but the guys I'm trying to really beat anyway. 3.1, great stop from the Salva team. Alonso goes fosters that with a 35-6. He's coming out of the pits right now, I think. That's Raikkonen. Oh, and Button as well. See, the pit exit here is really slow, which doesn't help. And then yeah, you come straight out and you've got to take the first corner in really dry tyres. Oh, it doesn't help I've got cold tyres, but ninth still isn't too bad. Takes about a lap for these things to warm up, so... Oh. That's ugly. Oh, I don't want Lewis Hamilton behind me. He'll find a way through, won't he? Because he's Lewis friggin' Hamilton. Need to get DRS down here as well. Get off my tyres, marbles! At least I don't really have to worry about tyre wear towards the end of the race. You're faster in sector two than the car ahead. Sector two, go for the pass. Well, might as well crank the fuel up from now before the tyres go off. See, this is the problem. I've got to do more option running in free practice because I just keep losing out. I 
Hamilton looks like he's got me here. Ah, I'm better on the brakes than you, Lewis. Let's see if I can catch back up to Grosjean up ahead. Three point one. Man, I am bumpy coming out of this place. Because so this bit really isn't a viable spot to pass unless you get a really good run coming out of the corner. Oh, it went wide again. Damn it. Three point times I'm going about the same pace as, as Grosjean up ahead. Despite the tyre difference. It's not good. Gonna cover the inside here. All right, Hamilton, let's dance. Always go a bit wide on that corner for some reason. It looks like the lineup is going to be as good as I'm about to get, folks. This album's good. It's not good enough. That's the problem. Actually, I've actually gained a bit on Groge on this lap, though, which is nice. All that curse there. Watch out for the car chasing you. Here but comes Hamilton. I think he's going to run out of room. Sparks flying. Fuel is looking okay, but we'll keep an eye on it. How's fuel? Real optimal. Again, me and Grosjean just about equal right now. Same for me and Hamilton. And the thing is, this is the this is kind of the point where where the the tires will come back to the prime runners, which is kind of a problem. Bit wide there. But again, we're okay. Hamilton just can't get close enough. Must be the whole dirty air thing going on. I really should use my curves on the next bit, but... Got a good run out of that corner. A bit better than Hamilton's, but he's gonna have one last chance maybe down this straight. He's coming. Here he comes. Cover the inside lane and got safe. 
Or is it? Oh, he's going to he's gonna get a good draft on me here. Just hang in there, Drake. Ninth will do quite nicely. The objective was ninth. That's where I'm going to finish by the looks of things. It's not having to, not having to defend so much, I guess, but you know. If I didn't go one lap so long on the primes, it may have been sixth. Who knows? Better wins again. <sighs> Wonderful drive from him, got to say. Dude, he's so good in his tyres as well. It's just it's uncanny. Please don't run out of fuel. I saved my curse tank just in case Lewis had the last ditch attempt in him. Looks like we're going to be okay. And we get it. Ninth place. That'll do. Good points. Literally, like, points. Like, that's the lowest amount of points I could have gotten with it being plural. And uh, we, we give the nod to Lewis as, as, he, as he drives alongside us there at the line. Good fight with Hamilton there towards the well end. Done. Good drive. That's ninth place. Felipe Massa actually didn't even score a point in the end. Grosjean on eighth. Button seventh. Fry getting sixth. Sergio Perez in fifth. That's a good drive for McLaren. Uh... Fernando Alonso fourth, Rosberg third in a Red Bull Racing one and two. I told you those guys were looking good back there. <laughs> Telling you, man, it's crazy. But uh, our strategy worked in the end, I suppose. Thinking about it, you know, um, started in twelfth, had to try and do something different to make it work, and yeah, it kind of worked. I, I mean, I gained three on where I started, so that's not ever a bad thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, constructors wise, we're, we're still in fifth for 11 points ahead of McLaren. That may be our main fight for the season to try and beat McLaren and get into the top five rather than Lotus. I think Lotus might be a bit much of a reach, but as you can see, they're rebel right back in the constructors race now, only 19 points behind Ferrari and yeah, eight points off Mercedes. But yeah, that was a good race. Uh, like I said I enjoy Bahrain. It's uh, it's a good track. Fast track, uh, quite easy to manage the tyres, which can't really be said for the next track we're going to, but, you know, it's a good result. I'm happy with that, and the team seems to be happy as well, so, you know, handshakes and uh, high fives all around at the Salva team. They they seem to get the idea of where my objectives actually lie, rather than telling me to go and win it in Malaysia, the unrealistic bitches. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed that episode. Uh, another win in the teammate battle as well against Hulkenberg, which is always good. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. I've been Harrison101. Thank you very much for watching. And sayonara.